What's up, guys? Okay, so this video is going to be on installing mar uh, marks. I guess I should start this video over because I just messed up really bad. You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to start over. You know what this video is going to be on? This video is going to be on installing mods on dedicated ARC servers. So this ARC server, this dedicated ARC server is the one that I explained in my video. Um, I posted probably a month ago or so, I think, is how long ago I did it. And um, basically, it's a dedicated ARC server running on Ubuntu Linux. And that's what I'm connected to here. I'm logged into my dedicated ARC server playing in my world here. What I wanted to do, though, was install some mods because I quickly learned that the basic ARC game doesn't quite have the functionality that I was looking for. There's some things that are frustrating to me, like these torches. They, um, they, you got to light them. You got to stock them with wood and all that stuff. It's just a big pain in the butt. Well, one of the mods I wanted to get called Structures Plus, when you place these down, for one, they don't actually use inventory anymore. You can start and stop with torches and they automatically come on at nighttime and automatically turn off during the day. So it's like really awesome. So now every time I come into my house, the torches are automatically lit. I don't have to go light them. It's excellent. Plus, another other cool thing is like when you bump into the door, they auto open. Um, but you know what? The point of this video isn't to talk about necessarily the mod structures plus. It's about um, how to install that mod, mod, mod. How to install that mod in your environment. So I'm gonna go through the steps. <clears throat> Uh, let's go ahead and get out of this game really quick here and minimize that. And so basically what we want to do first is you want to go to... So my my arc is in Steam. To be honest with you, I'm not sure you can actually play it anywhere else. I don't even know the answer to that. Maybe arc's available outside of Steam. doesn't matter. We're doing this in Steam. So what I want to do in Steam, though, is I'm going to go to Arc Survival Evolved, and we're going to go to Workshop because I need to find the mods within Workshop. So um, there's two different mods that I installed. I installed Awesome Teleporters, and the other mod that I installed was um, Structures Plus. So we're going to look at Structures Plus. So I'm going to search for Structures Plus, and this is the one that I installed, this Structures Plus. Um, why not this one? To be honest with you, the, I don't know. This one had like less rating, um, has maybe less subscribers. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know why I picked one over the other. Let's see how many this one has. Now, see, that's why. Because this one's way more popular. So, what you want to do is find the mod that you want. This one's Structures Plus. I click on, click on the subscribe button here once you find it. And what you also want to pay attention to is this number up here in the address bar. 731-604-991. So, uh, mark that down somewhere so we could just, like, type that right here. That's going to be, not right there. That's going to be 731-604-991. That's the mod number. So we're going to be using that because we're going to copy these files and they're literally going to be called that. And so I'm going to subscribe to that. It's going to download and update that. And so wait till it's done downloading. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is um, host your own ARC game. So I'm going to close this ARC out. And we're going to come back into ARC again. Wait till it clears up. And I'm going to hit play. And... We'll wait for it to load. This is going to take a little bit of time. Actually, I'm going to pause it because it does take a ways. Okay, so I'm back. So what I want you to do next is I want you to go to host local. I want you to take these mods you see under available mods. These are the two that we downloaded and added to our environment. I want you to hit this button here so that they're up here on active mods. Clink, clink. Add them both at the top. And then go ahead and hit play single player. And then once it's in the game... Um, you should be ready to do the rest of this. Now, the reason I'm having you log into the host, the local um, game, is because when I first added these mods to my Arc server, or my Arc client, rather, the mod files, it downloaded the mod files, like the folders, but it didn't download the .mod files, which you need both the .mod file and the associated folder for them to work on your Arc server. So the only way I could figure out how to get that .mod file to generate, if you will, is by adding them to an ARC instance locally, starting the game, and they populated those mods. So I think that's kind of odd that you have to do that. I don't know. It must be something to do with the game. When you first sign in with those mods, it must generate those files or something like that. But that's literally all you have to do. You can check that the, the mods were loaded by like looking here. Like, this is part of a mod. If you go to the engrams, you can see these are the structured pluses. And so we know this loaded, right? I've got Awesome Teleporter. I've got these here. So I know for certain that the mods have loaded in the local. So I'm going to go ahead and exit and close out of that. So now we've got our mod files downloaded. And we've got the dot .mod files created. And then so the next thing you want to do is locate those. So I've got them here. 
under um, my so my Steam library is actually different location than a lot of other people. I installed my Steam library on the well, I have a Steam library rather on this on my D drive because I have too many games that I play that they don't fit on my main disc. So I have a, a couple extra disks in my hard drive, my computer, and um, one of them is a D drive. And so I put a Steam library under D, and that's where Arc is. And so when I downloaded the mods for Arc, it put them underneath Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common Arc Shooter Game, because that's the name of the executable for Arc. I don't understand where they came up with that totally awesome name, Shooter Game. Anyhow, um, and then under Content and Mods, and these are the mods. So this is so we marked it down when I. St- when I search for Structures Plus, right, the 731, so that's this guy. So this one, um, el- process of elimination would say that this one is the Awesome Teleporters. So I've got the Awesome Teleporters here, and I've got the Structures Plus here. So now that we know where they're at, the next thing you're going to want to do is copy those files to your dedicated ARC server. So I use a program called WinSCP, Secure Copy, and it's Um, basically you're just going to create, you're just going to connect in via an SSH or SCP session or whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's uh, SCP and you're going to connect into your Linux box. And, um, the way I've, we set up arc, the dedicated arc server in Linux was we put the arc instance under its own user account called steam. And, um, the reason for that is because we wanted the Arc server to run a- as its own credentials instead of root or something like that. So it's it should be contained within that user account. And but but that when I sign into my so I don't know this I don't have a st- I don't know the Steam credentials. And so what I did was I logged in as my my other user on that system, which is just G. And then um, basically I don't have access to drop those these mod files in the correct location within the Steam home folder which is where the Arc server is installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys here, and we're going to upload them to my home folder on G. And um, this actually takes a little bit of time, surprisingly, even though it's local to my computer. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not going to take a lot. When I was running this the other night, it took it took surprisingly long. I mean, we're talking a gigabit network, and it took like 15 minutes to copy those same files. Okay, so... So I've got them over on my Linux server now from my Windows box. So now I've copied those mod files that we just looked at here. These are the same files. And now they're in my home folder on my Linux instance. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is SSH into your your Arc server, which is where this is. And um, you can see those files are right here. I literally just uploaded these two, four rather. So the, the the two mods, right? One mod with this mod file, the other mod with its mod file. And so what we want to do next is we want to take and move these files to the correct location where mods are. And mods, um, actually, there's one step I want to do before this. Because when I first installed these mods on my Arc instance, when I restarted my Arc server, my entire world blew away. And so luckily for me, I, keep, I have another script that runs every single night and stops my server, backs up the server, and then restarts it. So... So I basically have my world backed up every single day in my Arc instance, and so I can restore any day all the way back 30 days. And so um, I'm very thankful I had that because when I added these mods the first time, it like wiped out my world, which is totally crazy. It's not supposed to do that. So what I did is I restored from yesterday and then logged right back in, and I had my world back, which is very nice, which is kind of weird, though, because it deleted the world, but obviously um, didn't delete my characters. So I was still level 68 or 69, whatever I am. And, um, but anyhow, I lost all my pets and my buildings and everything else, which is quite a bit of work. So, um, so we're going to run this command called, um, we're going to tar, tar something up here. And I'm going to back up my steam, uh, saved world to this file here. And the location we're going to back up is steam arc server shooter game saved world saved arcs so i'm literally going to back that up right there it's going to create backup underscore arc dot tar dot gz so it's a gzip tarball and it's going to be everything that's contained in that folder on the end so um it's those files are kind of large right some of them are 40 megs i think a piece and to be honest with you i don't remember exactly how big they are but um we're going to go ahead and back these guys up um one thing, actually, you should probably pay attention to, I should have done this first, actually, is I should have stopped my ARC instance, right, before I did the backup. So when you do it, make sure you start your, stop your ARC instance first, 
Um, just to validate that I do have a backup file, um, it should be under home steam and uh, there it is right there. It is 76 megabytes, so not bad, but at least you've got a, you got a file that you can now extract and replace these saved world info in case you screw something up or it screws it up for you. I don't know, whatever way. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, we've got these four, these two files and these two directories. We want to move them. So I want to move 731-601-991 to uh, my dedicated ARC server, which is under Steam ARC server shooter game content, because they're going to be under content and then mods. And I've already moved them over over there, so I'm not going to show you the actual execution of that because they're already there. So basically you would say move this to mods just like that and then you're also going to want to say move dot mod to mods and do that same thing for all the mods that you have that you've downloaded so so as an example i've also got that other number that i was going to move right i'm going to move this eight number and then i also want to move the eight dot mod file right and i move them all to the mods folder so now i've got those files in my mods folder so what we want to do next is uh, change the permissions on these files and that's going to be under content mods and what you want to do is when you move these over there sh they should have literally the um, oops they should have the permissions of your user whatever was uploaded so you're going to want to change the permissions and the owner of those files and so the way you do that is you do chmod dash r for recursive and this is mod so seven 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 five i believe is what i want so you've got seven so this is a seven r dup read read write and execute is a seven uh, read write executes a seven this is uh five because this is one two and four right so four plus one is five so seven five seven seven five um and then the number so in this case it's seven three one and you do that and that's going to change the, the permissions on that entire folder directory rather and all the contents underneath of it to 775 and then the other thing you're going to want to do is chmod without the recursive 775 to that 7341 mod file and then do that for all the mods that you're doing you're going to you're just going to run those two commands to change um the permissions on all the files. The other thing you want to do is change the ownership of those files to Steam or whatever user account you're using for your Arc server. So in my case, that would be ch own Steam Steam. So user and group, and then the name of the file. Um, actually, this needs to be recursive as well. I apologize. So so dash r Steam Steam. Then the folder, and it'll do that folder and all the files underneath, and then mod change ownership of the mod file itself. Oops, I just busted a key off my keyboard somehow. And that will change the ownership. So when you when you do a list, ls-la or ll, whatever, however you want to do it, you should see Steam Steam, and then you should also see permissions that match basically everything else in this folder here. Okay, so you've got the mod folder and the mod file, and you change the permissions. Now what you want to do is modify the um, Linux um, game user settings any file. And that is underneath shooter game saved. Uh, let's see, where is it? Sa saved uh, config, rather. Linux server. And game user settings any. So edit this. And um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find server settings here. And then, and then add an entry at the bottom of that, or anywhere in it really. It just needs to be underneath the heading of server settings. And you're going to want to add something called active mods. Spelled just like that, no spaces. Type in the numbers that you saved from when you grabbed in step two. The same numbers of the folders themselves, right? And you list them here. If you have more than one mod, you need to separate them with commas like this, no spaces. So you're just going to add them like that together with no spaces and just say active mods equals number, common number, or just number, depending on how many you have. If you've got eight of them, you literally separate them all with, with commas like that. So, um, so once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and say um, right quit to save that file. Now your game, your game user settings should have 
the appropriate stuff here. If you do a cat on that, you can see my active mods, which is great. And now the next step you're going to want to do is system CTL restart arc. And that's going to restart your arc server and it's going to, it should load it up with the mods. And then another thing you can do is you can say journal, journal CTL-U arc and scroll down to the bottom here and you should be able to see uh, let's see here that your arc server was I guess I, I I mean I obviously didn't restart it just now I restarted it a while ago but basically it should stay in a running state and um, you can also do a system CTL status arc and you can see that it is currently running and um, yep so I think that's basically it. So now when you connect to your Arc server, so anybody that's going to join your Arc server has to subscribe to the same mods that you have because they need to be in the client to understand the Arc server mods. And then two, um, that's basically it actually. So when you log into the server, like I showed you at the beginning of this video, you should be able to see the mods associated with um, in your client with the mods that you downloaded, right? So if you did Structures Plus, you should be able to go to Inventory ingrams and um, look at any s plus entries if you don't see any s plus entries then the mod didn't load another thing that happens when you load the game connecting to your server is it'll actually say loading mods and in my case i've got two right so it starts with loading one of two mods and it'll say two of two and it actually takes a while to load the structures plus one and so it sits there for you know a good 10 seconds while it's logging into the game so um that's it. <clears throat> That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you can get your mods working on your server. Um, Structures Plus is a really good mod. It's probably worth your time. Um, same with teleporters because uh, if you're like me, you're tired of basically teleporting with no inventory. It'd be great if you could teleport with stuff. So I'm looking forward to building that piece. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.